This video is going to be all about the Festool Domino. Now I'm going to domino all this together. This is a simple job for a customer. She just wants a, a, a simple frame put in a hole. I'm going to make two of these, pane of glass in the middle. So it gives the effect of all tiny small panes of glass because she didn't want to go down the uh, cost of paying for all the little panes of glass. So I come up with this idea for her. So we're doing it in pine. Uh, it's the cheapest option for her. Uh, she did want uh, five wide, three high on the panes of glass, but working out the measurements, it was working out rectangular rather than squares. So we got almost six wide, three tall, and I'm going to domino all this together. I'm going to show you how to put it together with the dominoes and glue it all up, because something like this is a little bit hard trying to fiddle with the dominoes, get them in without it all going squiff on you. So we're going to get the domino set up now. And then we'll go ahead and I'll just give a few tips and tricks what I do to keep everything nice and tidy. Uh, using the domino mind, you just got to make sure that every single domino you cut, you're keeping your face pointing upwards at all times. Because whatever depth you set the machine at, that's where you want to keep your reference to. Always keeping the domino machine on the face of the work. Otherwise, you'll be out of alignment. Especially when using 18mm stock, because they don't have the setting on there for 18mm. But apart from that, we're going to get it all set up. I'm only using little tiny dominoes on this one. Uh, I'll get it all set up now, and we'll crack on with the video. So this is what I normally do when I'm marking up my dominoes. I'll mark a centre point on the timbers by there, and I'll put a D and a B. D meaning it's a standard domino cut, so it's nice and tight. And the B I to put on there to make sure that I widen the domino on the cut slightly so we have a little bit of play so we can move the timbers left to right while we're actually gluing up and putting it all together. Now, the more practice you have with a domino, the better you will get. It all takes time to get used to this machine. Obviously, we've fitted the guide on the bottom of the domino now. It's all been fitted. It's not too hard to do. And then, basically, we have centred this now in the piece of wood. These slide in and out by there. And you just tighten them off. And then you can domino each of these dead centre. So all I'm doing now, I'm just making a simple jig. And just having a piece of MDF for the back two pieces of the side so I can slide my work piece in here it's all going to be clamped down I'll put this piece on there so this can be all nice and solid so then I can domino my piece of timber here without anything moving So that's him. You got your little domino. She's not bang on centre because that's hard to do with 18 mil stock on a machine. You probably got to use packers and all sorts. But as long as you're keeping your front face always facing up, touching the top of that machine, everything will butt up nice and flush. So I'll go ahead and cut the rest now. So here's just a little look at the jig that we've been using for the domino. You pop your timber in the hole, push him in, she's nice and solid, and then you can cut your dominoes there. So the best way of doing this is making the centre piece first. So I'd start off here and obviously connect them all together and then get the centre piece. We put the bottom railing, clip that into that, then the two sides and the top and it all should work out nice then. So I'll just speed this bit up now, putting it all together and then we can go from there then.
So there we have it. That's the two frames domino together, piece of glass in the middle, and then I'll conclude it then. I had a little bit of sanding to do on there. A little bit of filling it'll be. But it's not far off. And by the time it's painted, which this is being painted black, it should be absolutely great then. And that's it. Two identical frames done with the first tool domino. So this is the finished piece now. After we dominoed it all together, painted it all up, we use a double frame and a sheet of glass in the middle of it. So there's the finished article. And we also built these, which I should have done a video on as well. I've done a set of these twin cabinets.